So we have four full-time officers and six part-time. That means your police department's a little different than some here in Omaha yeah, and in the metro. Um, and it sounds like your job is a little different than other police chiefs I've talked to. You mentioned that you are a working police chief. Tell me what that means exactly. Uh, that means that it, on top of the responsibilities of being a police chief, like the administrative aspect and the paperwork, I also respond to calls, mm -hmm. just like a normal patrol officer would on the street. So I play both roles as responding to calls, uh, making arrests, taking people to jail, while also doing uh, statistics and stats and making sure all the paperwork goes to the state for uh, being compliant. That sounds like double duty. <coughs> it is. Yes. <laughs> it is. It is. Let me ask you this. <coughs> What do you enjoy most, the administrative side or responding to calls? I enjoy responding to calls. Do I you? I enjoy being there and serving my public that uh, pays my wage. Yes. Wow. What do you like most about it? Uh, just the connection between me and the community, um, being there uh, when they're in need of a service. I'm there and I can help that f and provide that for them. Yeah. Do you feel like responding to the calls and seeing what the need is in your community makes you a better police chief? I do. I know what the need is and I also am able to provide that need. Yeah. Your department is small, we've established that, but when you hear about Bennington, we hear that it's constantly growing. So what kind of challenge does that pose for your department? We, the Bennington has grown very fast, very quick. Okay. Uh, it's causing a lot of stress in law enforcement because we are responding to a lot more calls, mm -hmm. uh, a lot more thefts, uh, DUIs and drugs and stuff like that. So it's putting a little bit of a strain on our department. Um, however, because we do have more full-time officers and part-time than we had in the past that we're able to keep up with the uh, growth and the crime. Okay, that's a good thing. Yes, it is. So you mentioned the past and uh, when you became police chief, the department had a lot of work to do. and. I know you don't want to take the credit, but you've kind of helped rebuild the department. Take a minute and just tell everybody what you've done to just improve the Bennington Police Department. I was lucky enough when I first became the police chief, um, I was the only one there full time. I was able to go. Wait, you were the only person there full time? Correct. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, the previous mayor had actually shut down the police department and contracted it with the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. Okay. So when I was hired, I was able to the, take the time, go through policy procedures, get rid of old property, um, and just rebuild from the bottom all the way up. During that time, we were able to get um, a newer Dodge Charger patrol car. Mm -hmm. um, since then, we've had two newer vehicles added to our fleet, um, new policy procedures. Um, before it was a two full-time man department, it is now four. Um, so just the growth of the communities bringing the growth inside of the department as well. What was it like rebuilding a police department, growing a police department? It was stressful. Um, I was working about 65 to 70 hours a week. Um, a lot of it is more of just in-house, in getting rid of some old desks, mm -hmm. getting new desks in, upgrading the computer systems, making sure that we had exactly what we had on a previous inventory sheet for a police property. And how many years ago was that? It would be about two and a half years ago. Okay. Yeah. So fast forward to now, mm -hmm. you've made so much progress. What do you see is the biggest challenge for your, your police department? The future, I think the biggest challenge is keeping um, officers full time um, because you have Omaha who's willing to pay more and have a pension. Um, and Bennington is not able to have a pension and, and pay as much as Omaha. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm, well, my fear is, is having it as we hire an officer, they stay for a couple years and then they go to Omaha. Yeah. So that's the biggest fear that I have. What are you doing to retain your officers? I know it's tough, it's hard to compete. I try to get them the training that they want to go to. Um, we're able to flex a lot of our time, so instead of paying them overtime, if they work 12 hours and they're scheduled a, a 10 hour day, maybe they'll come in two hours later when there's another person there. Mm -hmm and they work an eight hour day the next day. So we have some flexibility with some scheduling. Yeah. I wanna take a minute to talk about this pandemic that we've been in for the last two years. How has policing and the pandemic, what impact has, has this pandemic had on, on, your, on your job, on your departments? It's been scary. Um, if I have an officer out with COVID, 
uh, we have to call in more part-timers or I have to work the weekend and work more than my regular hours. Um, so it, it's hard, you know, especially in a, such a smaller community. Having one officer gone for, you know, 14 days or 10 days, it, it, we have to pick up the slack. Yeah. I'm not going to have the police, or the eight, I'm not going to have this city uncovered just because an officer is sick, therefore I'll have you know, a part-time person come in or my sergeant will have to work extra hours or I'll have to work extra hours. I feel like you do a lot as, as the police chief in Bennington. I do do a lot, yes. Yeah. That's what I've agreed to do and, and I enjoy doing it for my community. We know police, you have a tough job, a dangerous job. What brings you back every day? What do you love about being police chief? Being a public servant. Mm -hmm. And, and helping my community and being there. Is important. that something you always aspired to do? Yes, yep. Yep, my father was a, a, a deputy sheriff down in oh. Harris County, Texas, and it just came in the blood, and I have a lot of family and friends. I work for Omaha and other agencies. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. So I want to ask you about a picture that I saw on your department's website or Facebook page. So it was you. Okay. And there were some kids, and you're smiling, and the kids are smiling, and there's Capri Suns, and it looks like it was just a good day. So, d first of all, do you remember this picture? I do, Okay, yes. so can you tell me about this day and why it's just so important to have this kind of positive interaction mm -hmm. with kids in the community? Yes, it was actually, I believe it was the 4th of July. Okay. So I went out and bought a whole bunch of sun kisses and uh, popsicles, and every single time I saw a kid out in the street, I just stopped by and gave them a Capri Sun and a popsicle. It's just that community relationship that you need to build with the police department and the, and the community. Wow. So a lot of times if there's a, a kid playing basketball, you may see a Bennington officer out there playing basketball with them. Because it's more than just a basketball mm -hmm. game. What's the, what's the impact of that? Just knowing that we're not there to, to cause problems or we're there to be friends and we're just normal human beings just like they are and they shouldn't be afraid of us um, and we're networked we're there together yeah it's important to start that relationship early too yes it is yeah. yes cool what i've learned from a lot of police departments and a lot of police chiefs is every department kind of has its own vibe its own feel uh, how would you describe the culture in your department it, it's definitely a, a work in progress i would say it is i would say that we're an open door we have a lot of uh, community members come up and ask us questions that may not be law enforcement involved, mm -hmm. but yeah, because we are a smaller agency, we're able to either help them. Um, I can tell you last week I got a call from a guy, he's a resident, he ran a gas on Highway 36, maybe a half mile away from Bennington. He was trying to get his daughters to school on time. Mm -hmm. So I'll go out there and I put gas in his truck and he dropped his kids off at school and went back to work. That doesn't really happen on other agencies, yeah. but because the community of our size and how small we are, we're able to provide that type of service to our community. That's pretty incredible. And that doesn't happen for a lot of police chiefs to be out there doing yes. it themselves too. <laughs> that is correct. It's gotta be a rewarding feeling for you. It is, it is. I enjoy it. Yeah. So you have this department, um, 10 people, strong and mighty, right? Yes, Small and mighty. What are you most proud of with your department right now? I'm most proud of my officers. You know, um, they all have a really great background. Um, Bennington may not realize how the background of these officers are. Uh, we have a retired chief deputy from Omaha that works part-time, uh, a retired sergeant from Blair, um, he works with us, and also um, 88 Tactical, you have the owner and yeah. another member of 88 Tactical, they also work part-time for Bennington. So there's a lot of training that we've all received and uh, we're able to, if something happens in Bennington, we're able to handle it our, our own and handle it and get it done professionally and the correct way. Yeah, that's all you can ask for. Yes. So um, as we wrap up, here you are, um, two and a half years in, you've helped grow this police department. Where would you like, where would you like to see it? I'd like to see uh, more full-time officers so we're able to uh, make sure that our coverage is as close to 24 hours as possible. Um, and to make sure that we keep a lot of the crime out of Bennington. A lot of the crime that happens in Bennington is not a be within Bennington, it's what comes through Bennington. Because of the growth of Bennington, people drive through a lot more now and, and that's where crime has actually been rising.